Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to begin what, our investigation of currents uh, using a convection current. Remember, a convection current is one that's caused by, say, a charged thread or um, a charged plate or something like that moving around. And, um, and so I think that would be ideal just because we've already been using um, stationary charged objects. Now we're going to want to look at a, a moving charged object. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of leeway here so, we've got, so we can pretend like there's um, enough room on either side so that this galvanometer is just going to read um, this current, right? Um, the current coming from um, this thread moving. Uh, because this weight here is pointed down at some speed v, all right? So um, we're going to look at that instead of a conduction current because the um, conduction current has a couple of different kinds of charges sitting in, in there, right? In a normal wire, the wire isn't actually charged most of the time. Um, it's neutral. It's just the um, charges are moving. So uh, that in that's a slightly different um, situation that we'll deal with later on as far as um, how, it, how it comes about. I mean, the actual things that happen, right, um, are the same as long as you end up having the same um, current, right? So we have this charged thread here. It's coming down off of the spool because it's being pulled down by a mass. Um, which has a mass m, right? And uh, we'll let it just start from rest. So that means our initial velocity is zero. All right. So that'll be something that, that we can look at. And we just want to figure out what the, um, we just want to find, we want to figure out uh, what, what the current is. Okay, so we're going to find I. Um, and our concept here is a convection current, right? like I've been speaking about, right? Um, and what we need for our um, convection current, so if we had some equation for that, that would just be um, I is going to equal um, lambda, in this case, the charge density times uh, the velocity of, of the wire, all right? So how fast, um, I guess not wire thread, uh, I've already been, I've already stopped this because I kept, kept calling something, calling it a wire before. Um, and now we want to get our strategy, um, not our strategy, but our strategy, all right. And um, so with this, I mean, I know you know what's going to happen, so we can, but you know, we just take our force. Uh, which is just the gravitational force here, um, and we'll call that um, F, right? And from the force, we'll find the acceleration, right? And after we do that, we can just um, use kinematics to find the uh, to find the velocity. So if we can find the velocity as a function of time, we'll be good. And if we know the um, velocity as a function of time, uh, we're good to go. All right. So everything will be hunky-dory if we do that. So what is the force? Well, the force, is, the force here is just the um, weight, which is um, minus mg in the z direction, or mg in the minus z hat direction. Um, so our acceleration, which is f over m, right, is equal to minus g in the z hat direction. Um, oops, find the current, excuse me, left that out. 
Um, so now we can just use kinematics, right? So our kinematics says that V is equal to V naught plus A times T, right? V naught we said is zero. Um, that's the initial speed. Yeah. All right. And so the, we just take the acceleration and we multiply by T. So we have minus um, GT in the Z hat direction, right? Um, and now to find our current, we just use this equation for the convection current here, which is lambda times this velocity, which is um, going to be minus lambda GT in the Z hat direction. Very, very direct. Um, all we really need to do. Um, so if we were to draw this, you know, we just get a um, linearly increasing current with time. Right? Very, very simple. Um, so the slope here would basically be, um, the slope here is g, so if this is some time t naught, this is lambda g t naught. Right, so the slope is um, well, uh, I, is lambda g. Right, so maybe that would be a good um, a good um, drawing or a good plot at the end if you wanted one. Um, nothing particularly complicated everything's very very simple and uh i hope that's really what happens that's how you feel about the, this whole unit um and a lot of these differences between convection and conduction currents they really get explained in the next unit right when we when we start talking about relativity not so much at this point why do we you know at this point we don't see a reason why we need the different ideas um, it, it will be important in chapter five. Bye now.